Hi everyone, today I'm going to be doing this lovely little floral group from Johanna Basford's um, Flourish and uh, I'm going to start off by doing the leaves. Now I'm using my Stedler Ergosoft pencils, um, this is number five so I'm just going to make a start. Um, I like the Ergosoft for these smaller designs, quite hard pencil, you can get into the little details a little bit more easily. Now what I'm doing with these leaves is I'm doing a darker colour towards the um, flower and then gently reducing the pressure that I put on the pencil so that it, my page is bouncing around. Let me just weight it down. That didn't work. Um, less pressure towards the end of the leaf and I'm going to use a different colour to uh, Let me just hold the page down. That's better. This is going to be really annoying you. Bouncing around and going in and out of focus. So there we go. You can see what I'm doing hopefully. But there's more pressure here towards the flower. And then less as I gently go down towards the end. And I'm going to do the same with these top ones. Because they look to me like the same type of leaf. Of course you don't have to. You can vary all the greens but uh, a little bit limited with greens. Um, there are actually lots compared to some sets, but uh, there are so many lovely leaves in all of Johanna's pictures that sometimes it's not easy to keep finding new combinations of greens. And there we go, and I'm gonna do the ones around here as well in the same way. Now for this lovely bunch of flowers, I am going to do all the flowers the same colour. You could do them all different colours, but to me they look like they're all the same variety of flower and therefore the same and I think it adds, makes, brings the picture together a little bit more if they're all the same colour. But you may like to have some variety in your picture. So number 57 I'm going to use to finish off these leaves. Let me hold the page down. So I'm going to blend it all over and then bring it heavily towards the tip. There we go. So what colour shall I do the flowers? I want to do them in more than one shade of a colour because they're quite big. So that's having some influence on my decision. I've also decided that I want to do the centre of the flowers in orange and yellow. So that means that I won't do the flower itself in yellow or orange because it, uh, it won't then stand out so much. So that also um, influences my decision. Now orange and yellow I think goes very well with purple in my mind and very well with um, blue. It would work with pink. I'm not always such a pinky person, so I think I, there we go, those are all done. Oh, look at that one. I think that one will be the same. So I'm going to go back in with my number five. Sorry, I'm covering that up so you can't see it. Um, so I am so sorry, I, I'm going to do them blue. I don't know if I said that or whether I've just changed my mind since I last spoke. And then number 57 to finish off this one. So I'm going to do blue. So now I've finished those, we're going to do these little bits of all the rest of the leaves I'm going to do in the same colour as each other as well. I'm going to do different greens though. I'm going to use number 52 to start with. I'm going to do a similar technique though, but this time I'm going to make the tip of the leaf the darker part just for some different. Sorry, hold the page down again so it's not bouncing around. There we go, and the tip there, and the tip there, and you see what I'm doing as I did with the others is applying more pencil to the tip and then just reducing that pressure to make the lower part of the leaf lighter in colour. And I'm going to do these two the same as why you could do them different. There we go. Maybe I'm a bit lazy, I don't know. I just do them the same. So that's that. And then 
for the lighter colour for these I'm going to use the number 50 and I'm going to go again right over the top of what was coloured already that blend line is a bit messy there we go and uh, just try and mix, it, mix that colour all together pressing quite hard as well Okay, so flower centres next. Um, I'm going to start with the palest orange that we have, which is the number 42. And I'm going to do the a, a darker colour at the bottom. It doesn't matter where you do it, which part of the centre you choose, but I've just decided to do the bottom. But I keep it consistent between all the flowers. So you can see I'm going in with quite a hard pressure near the bottom and then lightening it up because I want it to blend into my next colour, that other one, that one's quite small. And then I'm going to go with number 11, which is this sort of orangey yellow. I'm not going to take this right up to the top though, just blend it up a little way. It's going to be tricky with this last one which is so small. And then I'm going to use one last yellow, which is the next one in my tin, number one, to do the very top of the flower. Now sometimes I would leave a little white gap to look like it's reflecting some light, but these are a little bit teeny. So there we go. Hopefully you can still see that. They look quite neon actually, from what I can see. Now we're going to use our blues. Now I'm going to start with a dark blue and then do some lighter blue and maybe some darker blue. Sounds confusing. Let's just go for it and I'll show you. So number three is going to be my first blue and I'm going to use this here near the centre of the flower and then fade it out towards the edge. So I'm putting harder pressure here and going over it a couple of times and then scumbling it out towards the edge and I want to try and make sure there's no harsh line in here in the same way as we did with the leaves. Now it's a little bit easier with the leaves to hide it as your areas get bigger any harsh lines, the blend lines are going to show up more so you need to concentrate maybe a little more when you're doing a larger area but we can go over with lots of layers if necessary so it's not crucial. Now I'm thinking I could do these two the same and that one's slightly different. I think I'm going to do that for some, they're still going to be blue but just to, um, I can show you a different colour combination as well and maybe you know, you're not going to get every blue flower, it's not going to be the same shade of blue is it? It's a bit messy at the moment, I'm not, not going to worry. We're going to go in with our next shade of blue and I'm going to use this number 37. And like we did with the leaves, I'm going to go right over the top of what we've done already, but using the same technique, lighten up towards the edge, but I want to make sure that all the white gets covered over. And just doing exactly the same with every petal. Sorry, I stopped talking. It's just nice and relaxing, colouring away without much thought going through my head. Now the the contrasting colour has disappeared, and we're going to go back over with a darker colour to emphasise that again in a minute. So we're going to finish this bit off first. I'm still doing a harder pressure towards the centre of the flower 
and lighter towards the edge but it isn't necessarily showing up too much. So we're going to go back with the um, the number three and go back into the centres and put put down some harder colour again and also make sure it all blends in nicely. It will darken the whole thing up a little bit but I don't mind. As you can see here we've got quite a few lines and hopefully I'm going to be able to make those disappear. Blending this all in together, there we go. And here we've got quite a harsh line here. So we're going to take that up a bit and try and blend it out towards the edge of the petal. And this one's quite pale, so I'm going to make it a bit darker. To hold the page again, sorry, it's whippling about, isn't it? There we go, and the last one. There we go, and now we're going to do the other, the center one. And I'm going to go in with a darker blue. This is the number 33, the really darkest blue that we have in this set, and start exactly the same technique because I want them to look very similar and blend it out towards the edge. Try and blend it a bit more neatly this time so that when I put the other the other rum colour on I won't have to work so hard to get it to mix together. So darker here towards the centre and then gently out. They could just leave it this colour without adding another one. It's quite a nice contrasting blue to the other one that's there. But I'm going to add a second layer, possibly a third, just to make it look a bit neater. My lead's wobbling in this pencil. I don't know if it wants to break. It doesn't usually happen with the Ergosoft. The ends might snap if you sharpen them too much, which I always do but um, they don't tend to break. So then my next blue colour is going to be this light blue, the number 30. Ooh. Just clear myself a bit of space for my elbow. So again, start in the centre. Now with this one, I'm actually going to put a fairly medium pressure across the whole of the leaf. You can see it's looking fairly similar to the others, but not quite, not quite the same. And I'm going to go back into the middle again with the um, number 33 that dark colour that we started with. I think this is slightly purpley. You probably won't see it on the camera, on the video, but when you're doing it, if you decide to have a go with this colour combo, or you may have already noticed if you've got this set, this one seems a little bit purpley. There we go. And there we go, there's the bunch finished. Now you could then go in with some sort of background, but I'm going to just leave it plain. I think the yellow middles really pop out of the page with the white background, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much for watching and happy colouring.